on this day, we take stock of progress we have made in building an Africa whose inhabitants have hope for a better and brighter future, an Africa without despair. President Jacob Zuma has hosted a range of ambassadors, high commissioners and other dignitaries from across the continent. He says the day is an opportunity for Africans to reconnect and recommit to developing the continent. Zuma also says Africans should soon be able to crisscross the continent with ease. At the AU, we are also advancing and advocating softer borders to enable better movement of people and goods within the continent. The promotion of legal migration within the continent is thus important, including easier movement to enable tourism skills exchanges and business and business cooperation. Africa Day means different things to different countries, both on the continent and in the diaspora. For us as a, a country that got its independence about uh, six years ago, this really means a lot because uh, we followed on that trend and we saw that uh, today uh, South Sudan has also been achieved or has also achieved its uh, political independence and, and this is through the help of Africa. Being in Africa is, is very special to Jamaicans. We feel that we, it's our motherland in fact and we're deeply connected with Africa. So being here and celebrating Africa Day is certainly very, very important for us because we get a chance to wrap and, and, and be in line with exactly what the core of our being is as Jamaicans. For me, it means the total liberation of uh, Africa, both politically, economically, and socially. So this day, it's all about reflection, deflection about our past and our present. Africa Day is also an opportunity for countries to reaffirm their support for the African Union's Agenda 2063. Ladies and gentlemen, I see you to end Pretoria, South Africa.